Methods for increasing your body's natural defenses 1. Eat more fermented foods or take a probiotic supplement Fermented foods are high in probiotics, which are beneficial bacteria that populate your digestive tract. Yogurt, sauerkraut, kimchi, kefir, and natto are examples of these foods. According to research, a thriving network of gut bacteria can assist your immune cells in distinguishing between normal, healthy cells and harmful invader organisms. In a three-month study of 126 children, those who drank just 2.4 ounces 70 milliliters, of fermented milk daily had approximately 20% fewer childhood infectious diseases than the control group. If you don't eat fermented foods on a regular basis, probiotic supplements are another option. 2. Supplement wisely. When you hear claims about supplements being able to treat or prevent COVID-19, it's easy to turn to them. These assertions, however, are unfounded and false. The National Institutes of Health NIH, states that there is no evidence to support the use of any supplement to prevent or treat COVID-19. However, some research suggests that the following supplements may help your body's overall immune response, the vitamin C. A study of over 11,000 people found that taking 1,000 to 2,000 mg of vitamin C per day reduced the duration of colds by 8% in adults and 14% in children. However, supplementation did not prevent the cold in the first place. Decalcium phosphate lack of vitamin D may increase your chances of getting sick, so supplementing may help to mitigate this effect. Taking vitamin D when you already have adequate levels, however, does not appear to provide any additional benefits. 3. Limit added sugars. According to new research, added sugars and refined carbohydrates may play a disproportionate role in overweight and obesity. Obesity may also increase your chances of getting sick. An observational study of around 1,000 people found that people with obesity who received the flu vaccine were twice as likely to get the flu as people without obesity who received the vaccine. Sugar restriction can reduce inflammation and aid in weight loss, lowering your risk of chronic health conditions such as type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Given that obesity, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease can all wreak havoc on your immune system, limiting added sugars is an important component of an immune-boosting diet. You should try to keep your sugar intake to less than 5% of your total daily calories. For a 2,000 calorie diet, this equates to about 2 tablespoons, 25 grams, of sugar. Stay tuned to the channel by subscribing. Plus, if you want to lose weight fast click the link below.